Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, K from Hey Trade Utilities, and today I'm going to be reviewing Flesky. Now, Flesky is a new keyboard that um, has been introduced to Android, um, and I think it pretty much changes the way people would type. Now, it's not available on iOS because you know you can't um, you can't change the keyboards on iOS. Um, but this is for Android, and I've got to say, because it's only for one operating system, it works pretty well. So I'm on um, an X7 here, so uh, a vanilla Android device, and we're just going to jump over into Google Keep. Um, so as you can see, it's popped up the keyboard. Now, you may think, wait, where's the backspace? Why is the keyboard so massive? Well, there's a reason for that. Because not only um, does it change the way you type, but it's actually more easy to use. So say I'm starting to type here and it it's all based on swipes and gestures. Now if I just quickly go ahead and disable this so I'm back on the stock Google keyboard you can see there's much more options that you can use. So you can just you know type conventionally or you can swipe. But the way Flesky changes these is that it it doesn't it doesn't require you to keep moving your hands. You can type swipe from pretty much anywhere, so you're not restricted to pressing the backspace in one place. You can do it from pretty much anywhere. And I guess this could increase your productivity. Um, but obviously, with the tablet like this, it 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 may be hard. So I, I've been holding it like this. Um, and that's one downside. It, it only works in landscape. So if you've got a portrait application um, I highly doubt that this will work. So let's let's have a go. So I'm just going to type and You swipe right to uh, have uh, to make space and you swipe left to delete the, the word. So if I just type um, um, Yeah it, it uses Android's autocorrect to, um, actually you probably can't see that, because it's so bright, there you go. Um, so as you can see, I've just typed, hey, how's it going, um, using this keyboard, and it, it was pretty hard to get used to, but if I just type something like, yeah, uh, HRY, um, and you try to, and you go to the next space, um, it will automatically correct that for you, and if it's not the the word you want, you just swipe up to to change. So, you know, I think it's pretty good, like in that sense. Slow frame rate. Um, so that that's that. Now, if you want to add punctuation, you know, you can you can just go up, change it up. So, and you can obviously go back and right to change it. So. That's that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, once that's done, you can close it, and you know you get your normal keyboard. Now, I gotta say one thing that you know is a downside of the app is well, a it takes quite a long time to learn because you've got so many gestures you can do. Um, but b if, as I said earlier, um, when you try and you know put it in landscape, it won't work because I've got rotation lock on. But you, you can probably tell that it, it, it doesn't work as well as it should do. Because you know you you you're more you're in much more cramped space. So that's the, that's the, that's um where I think that it's not as useful. But then again, you know, swiping um right and across it, it it's 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 difficult. So that's that's just been um, a quick review of Flesky. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. I will drop the download link in the description. Uh, this is only for Android, so you know don't complain that you can't get it on iOS because Apple won't allow you. But that's that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, uh, drop us a like and subscribe. But as always, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and I'll catch you later. Peace.